And while well, experts in the world of horses are spending time in Tulsa for the U.S. National Arabian and Half Arabian Championship, the event allows horse trainers and riders to showcase their talent. To News Oklahoma's Brody Myers visited them at Expo Square and learned this is the culmination of a year's worth of work. The scene at Expo Square looks a little different than a few weeks ago. The carnival rides have made way for horse rides. The U.S. Arabian and Half Arabian National Championship is in town. It's just an awesome couple weeks in horse sport. Colby Hernandez is one of the riders involved in the event. It's the culmination of a year's worth of work. And we came all the way up for it. It's a really, really exciting event. It's a big deal to be here. We have to work really hard to get here. Her trainer, Joe Alberti, agrees. Um, and then going into the show ring and listening to the hours and hours of of me talking to them and telling them what to do and what not to do. And when that all kind of comes together and it clicks right, um, it's, it's really the reason why I do this. It's, it's the best feeling for me. This equestrian life is nomadic. Hernandez's team makes annual stops in Arizona, Virginia, Kentucky, and of course, Tulsa. This year more than last year, I think last year we were just so in awe over all of nationals that, you know, we didn't escape the show ring too, too much. But this year with, you know, my band of girls that are here also competing and training, we went out and saw a bunch of the restaurants and we've been able to go in town a little bit. And so it's been quite fun. A nearby vacation rental breaks up the long days inside Expo Square. 16 long days to be exact. As of Sunday, they're halfway home. Albert has been coming to Tulsa for this show for a number of years, but he says each year can be a little bit different. Um, this year it's been wonderful. The weather has been so warm. We've been here in other times when it's been, you know, 45 degrees and raining the entire time. There's, there's a lot that we have to kind of take into consideration um, where we're going and what we're doing. There is some rainfall predicted in the middle of the week, but Alberti's team is ready. They've got their eyes on the gold. Reporting in Tulsa, I'm Brody Myers, 2 News, Oklahoma. Thank you, Brody. Now, if you missed out on attending the horse show this weekend, don't worry. You still have some time. It runs all week, wrapping things up on Saturday. And remember, it's totally free to attend.